what is up everybody welcome back to another video today what we're going to be doing is compiling game scope git so that is the newest master version of game scope on fedora 40 and the reason we're doing this is because game scope now works with steam gamepad ui on nvidia 555 so it's one of this long stream of videos that i just want to get everything out there and done for you guys so you guys can have the best experience possible okay now there are some dependencies that we do need to install and those that that being uh xorg uh x well i'm going to just show you because it's a lot easier to just you know show you than to actually say it and i'm going to type Ugh, i really don't like bing i mean it gets my kids free roadblocks but still i don't like bing x wayland fedora i know you can't see what i'm typing and that's for a reason uh so you'll find these two files ready to download in my discord right here okay so how to compile game scope it's right there in case you're the type of person that doesn't like to follow a video you have instructions and the download for both of those files is right here but i have them both installed now okay so we are going to be installing one thing though uh, besides those files that I need you to install now, and this is what's called libdecor, and without this, it won't compile. So now we're going to paste in git clone uh, dash dash recursive and then game scope repository. This is going to take a couple seconds to finish because it's got to grab a lot of files. That's what the recursive's for. So it grabs open VR, VK roots, WL roots, uh, BIVV headers, and a whole bunch of other really really nifty stuff to make this work all right so now that that part is done we need to install the rest of the dependencies for game scope so sudo dnf uh, you know what we're gonna do this we're gonna type in clear and i'm gonna paste that again so you can see so sudo dnf build depth game scope so this basically finds all the dependencies you need for game scope except for live decor and it automatically installs it. So as you can see, it grabs source repositories, checks everything else, and then you're good to go. So this is everything needed to compile GameScope minus that one thing that we did. I might need to talk to the Fedora developers about adding LibDecor in there, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. So now we're gonna CD into GameScope like this, and we're gonna be typing Mesa build with the little thingy on the end that tells it that it's going to be installed in the root user folder which is really cool and thank you jb for letting me know all about that uh and as you can see there's wl roots and everything like that so all of this is on i don't really know if i need to turn much of this on but if it's like this by default and it worked for me by default i don't need to now ninja is the thing that's going to be compiling it so messin configured it and this is going to compile it and make it work. Now this uses all your CPUs. You can see my seat, my, uh, my mouse is lagging. It's lagging because we're using a ton of CPU. Yeah, it's, uh, it's taking its toll on OBS or OBS. Uh, I don't even know why considering that. Oh yeah. It's using all my CPU. Isn't it all 24 cores, 24 threads. So again, this, this does depend on your thread count and your core count. So if you have a lot, it will be really quick. If you don't, it's going to be really slow. And then the next thing we got to do is install it. And boom, that's it. It's installed. But I don't think it installed correctly. Uh, so instead, because I don't trust that it installed correctly, what we're going to do we're going to do prefix equals slash user and we're going to do reconfigure because sometimes I just don't trust that it's going to do what it did and then we're going to be doing this again there we go and then we're going to be doing this yeah see now it installed in the right place that is weird I think there's been a like a weird bug going on in certain things that doesn't allow uh, things to install where they're supposed to be now that was super quick, I know. Uh, but what I want to do next is we want to test game scope. 
So game scope dash W twenty five sixty H fourteen forty P. So that's my resolution. And we're gonna do E. Then I'm gonna do Steam. I can do Steam OS. Then I'm gonna do Game Pad UI. And there was a mistake right here. So this should boot up the gamepad UI right there, straight into big picture. And if I am correct, it's not going to be very quick, which is unfortunate. Can I like, yeah. And my controller's not being recognized at the moment. I had to plug it back in. There we go. So you'll notice that it's really laggy and there's a reason for this. So if we exit out and we actually open up Steam itself to solve this real quick, uh, which I have it right here, we're going to need to turn on well, well, web acceleration. This has a couple of issues, but it keeps game scope fast. And hopefully, flashbang, we can do that right now. Yeah, there it is. So go to Steam, go to settings, go to where is it it's called interface there it is and well well web web accelerated views so web uh gpu accelerated rendering and web views so if i turn this on we hit restart later and i go here and i exit steam because now that it's on we can just go start up game scope again and for those who are beginners at this pressing the up arrow makes it so we can go back to our last thing and we hit enter and should boot up it does and it's fully gpu accelerated now look it's actually very quick and easy to use it's no longer sluggish um but there are some issues with it if we press the menu button you'll notice that the menu is all messed up now this is power off this is settings this is your downloads folder okay this would be your friends so power off suspend system switch to desktop so on and then i now then those those are your downloads i went to the downloads again it's really hard to do this like there's your settings right your display your audio your bluetooth controller keyboard I uh, even got a theme going on and I believe the first one would be your library. So it does end up working pretty well and you can play games if you need to. It should just work with this Git installed. So yeah, um, that's the end of this video. I hope it helps. If it did, you know, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more Linux videos and I will see you guys next time. In the next video, we will be compiling Mesa. Uh, the latest version on Fedora 40 for you NVK users. For those who don't know, that is the open source Vulkan driver uh, that just works out of the box now with Fedora 40. So the minute you start up Fedora 40 on a new installation, there's no NVIDIA drivers, but you still have acceleration. You still can play games like Deus Ex Human Resolution, Revolutions. You can play Doom Eternal and some other games too. DirectX 11 games work best, but DirectX 12 games are currently supported. Bye-bye. I can't find my mouse.